Guys, I am so excited to be back on my YouTube. I know it's been a while, but I am bringing you a wig video. Today we are making a closure wig with Snob Life Japanese Denim hair. And for those that want to know what is Japanese denim, it is Snob Life's longest length of hair in their entire collection. And it's a bone straight realness. 30 inches in your face, sis. <laughs> So to make this wig, I'm gonna be using a stretch wavy cap. You gotta have your scissors, you gotta have your thread, you gotta have your needle, and for beginners, I recommend T-pins. So first, I start off, I put the cap on the mannequin. I do, I do bleach the knots on my closures. This is a recommended step. If you guys wanna see that, put that in the comments down below and I'll show you, it's a quick video. So I put the closure on the mannequin head and I do use T-pins to secure and that closure to my cap. The reason why I do this is because if I don't secure it, the closure is going to become loose when I'm sewing it. I don't want to hold it with my arm so it keeps the process clean and it's easy. So my beginners, hold yourself down and T-pin that closure down. Now I'm taking the Japanese denim hair and I wrap it all around just to make sure that it's out of my way when I do go to sew the closure down. So I'm gonna begin by sewing on the closure to the cap. And when I'm stitching, I like to use this method where I am stitching with the needle coming out and facing me. I find that when I do that, the closure, my whole wig lays flat. So here I am stitching the closure to the cap. I wanna do a full disclaimer and let y'all know that you're gonna be watching a lot of sewing in this video. It's just gonna be sewing and sewing and sewing. But trust me, by the end of this video, you will know how to make a wig and you can head over to Snob Life and get you some Japanese denim. They also have Russian blondes. They also have Ethiopian curly. They have a lot of different hairstyles and wigs are the perfect, perfect way to grow your hair and it's a great protective style. So I love wigs because I can put them on my head. I can then deep condition my hair. I can still do flat twists under my hair. I can, you know, put some castor oil to grow my edges. Black castor oil is the holy grail. So I can get some black castor oil to grow back my edges. I can really just treat my hair while still serving a nice slay. All you need is a bomb braiding pattern underneath and this wig video for your future reference and you're gonna be out here slaying. Let's secure that closure. Ladies and gentlemen, we are vastly approaching the end of the closure. We are securing the closure. <laughs> I'm done with me. When you get to the end of securing that closure, so I'm creating three knots, just regular simple knots and making sure that the closure is attached and it's not going anywhere. Now we're gonna trim off all of the lace. You don't have to save it, just make sure that when you're cutting off the lace, you be careful and not to cut off the areas that you just sewed onto the cap. <laughs> Flower delivery. <laughs> Kiho. You are appreciated. <laughs> How cute were those flowers? Those flowers are sent to my sister to let her know that she's appreciated. And I love my sister, you guys. Like, she definitely deserved that bouquet. I'm so grateful to have a sister like her in my life. <laughs> so, you know, I love you, Winnie. We're about to get back into this wig. I am going to be sewing that first track onto the wig. And because I have four bundles of hair, I want to fit everything, but I want to have volume at the bottom. So a trick to have extra volume at the bottom of your wig is to open up that track, then to fold it in half and sew on both webs at the same time it sounds challenging but honestly sis all you're doing is opening up the track folding in half and then securing that onto the wig I'm going to flip that track over and stitch the corners to make sure that it's pretty sturdy and then continue to sew horizontally back to the other side this process is pretty easy it's pretty tedious but your wig will come out flawless it'll be nice and full at the bottom and when you curl it you'll be like, girl, slate, slate. And trust me, this is very beginner friendly. This is a closure wig, it's super easy to do. You can also use a dome cap. In this video, I'm using the weaving cap because it's something that I started with when I first started sewing and I've been doing a lot of dome cap wigs. 
and I'm like let me just try this out let me see if I might like this again you know sometimes you try something and then you haven't tried it in a grip and you're like let me just see if it might work so that's my idea in the process of this wig I don't prefer this cap over the spandex dome cap they're kind of the same to me to be honest but I wanted to hold you guys down just in case somebody wanted to see everything basically start to finish. I do speed some of it up so that it can be a little bit faster. Oh, God. When you get closer to the ear, you're gonna flip over the track and then just secure the corner that you flipped and just continue to sew all the way to the end of the bundle. We're on to the third bundle, y'all. We're gonna grab the end of that bundle and secure it to the end of the cap. And we're just gonna do the regular basic method where we're just doing a single weft across where we left off and just secure that to the cap. This part of the wig is like the home stretch for me. I'm on the third bundle. Like I have my closure secured. I got two bundles already onto the wig. This is a glory moment. I'm excited, I'm happy. So when you get to this third bundle part, know that you have come a long way. You do have a little more to go, but you are in the home stretch. Like start cheering, start getting excited because you're about to slay your wig. And you're gonna continue to sew around and around the wig until you reach the last two tracks of your wig. And now I want to show you how to close everything up. So when you get to the top of the wig, you wanna make sure that you keep it neat and clean as possible. At this point, I do not double weft. I just single weft close enough so that I can still have room to secure that last track onto the wig so it has a nice seamless transition. Like you see right here, like you still see the closure and you see the lace and you also see the track. So once I get to the end of the wig, which I'm like screaming cause I'm like, it's been about three and a half hours now and I can't wait to finish this closure wig. So I grab the weft and I'm sewing it very, very tight to the closure so that you don't see any lace from the weaving cap. You don't see that at all. You just see track, hair, and closure. So you wanna close up the entire wig to give a nice seamless finish. I love the word, the word seamless because seamless just means that it is on point. Like you did it sis, like you are lit. This wig is lit. I'm so excited to try this hair out. Now we finished the wig and because I double wet to the bottom, you can see it's more close on the bottom. And we're gonna flip the wig over and just cut off the extra cap that we don't need because the lace is there, we don't need that extra cap. Just be careful when you are cutting the cap to again, make sure that you're not cutting off the areas that you sewed the closure to the wig and you're just cutting specifically around the cap. Look at this closure, like that closure is so, realistic to the scalp. If you guys want to see a video on how I bleach the notch, make sure to put it in the comment down below. But this is the finished look of my Japanese denim hair from Snob Life. Make sure to head over to Snob Life to get your Japanese denim hair. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me on my journey. Thank you guys so much for inspiring me to create this closure wig. I know I had a lot of requests on how to create a wig and I wanted to start with the basics which is a beginner friendly closure wig. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys leave comments down below so let me know what you guys want to see next and thumbs up this video if you guys like it. Until next time, bisous.